We have this idea in this country that when it comes to health care, more is better. You can't be too thin or too rich, and you can't get enough health care. You know, we all come to a similar conclusion that about 30% of U.S. health care spending is devoted to unnecessary services. And that's, you know, $800 billion a year. You don't have a significant blockage. You have to remember that one person's waste is nearly always another person's income. And income turns into strong political defenses of areas that are classic waste. We spend two and a half times more per capita than the average Western European country spends. Sydney. But the part that I'm most worried about is the waste that actually hurts patients. I was ready to have a stint put in, and I stopped him. I see it every day in real human beings who get enormous amounts of unnecessary testing and enormous amounts of unnecessary treatment. And then the irony, of course, is that when we look at the Health Olympics and how we come out in the world in terms of health outcomes, we end up doing terribly. You know, we're just below Slovenia or next to Costa Rica. When we spend more, the outcomes are oftentimes worse. How can that be? Life is so unfair. Everything we do in healthcare is innately dangerous. It's sometimes extremely difficult to walk that thin line between help and harm. And you step over it fairly routinely. I got a phone call that confirmed that I had cancer. And I said, life as we have known it is over. If you add up medical errors, drug interactions, and hospital-acquired infections, medicine itself is the third leading cause of death in this country. Of course I don't want to die. I'm paid more when I harm my patients. I'm paid more when I do more, even if it's not beneficial. I don't want to live like a bitch. When the payment incentives are aligned towards more care, when their worries about defensive medicine are aligned towards giving more care, when their patients seem to want more care, and when there isn't really good evidence about what the care is the right care, it keeps driving in the same direction towards more and more and more. Hang in there. Every day is a miracle. The big entitlement programs, Medicaid, Medicare, Social Security, with the vast majority being Medicaid and Medicare, they're on autopilot. They automatically increase year by year. By 2050, they'll be consuming over 70% of the total federal budget. Oh, wait a minute. So will interest on the debt. You can't afford it. If healthcare costs keep rising at the rate they've been rising for the last few years, we will bankrupt this country. We will not be able to afford healthcare for any of us. Everybody clear, please? We'll create a financial crisis of a size sufficient to destroy the United States of America. We have no choice. We will solve the problem.